Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm very glad that you came to join me today. You know, there's times that uh, things come up in our life that would tend to steal away our joy and the peace that we ought to have. And I want to present to you a passage of scripture. It's one of my favorites. It's in Philippians chapter 4, and it begins at verse 4. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, Rejoice. Let your forbearing spirit, it means a patient spirit, be known to all men. The Lord is near. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, shall guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The first thing that the Bible offers to you and to me is joy <laughs> and the path toward having that kind of a joyful experience in our life. He said, rejoice in the Lord always. I'm like, are you kidding? There's sometimes things happen in my life and they aren't really that joyful. In fact, sometimes they're painful. But he says, rejoice in the Lord. Here we go. Always. Well, again, I say, in case you didn't get it, rejoice. He says, let your forbearing spirit be known to all men. You know, I can tell when a person has really grown in maturity, when no matter what storms come into their life and troubles that others might try to cause, they remain under control peaceful and joyful. They can always see the silver lining in the cloud or the hope that lies at the end of the tunnel. And I'll tell you how they do it. He says, uh, let your forbearing spirit be known to all men. The Lord is near. That's one way you can have this kind of joy is to remember no matter what you ever go through in life, and no matter how difficult things are, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you never have to go through those things by yourself. He's near. In fact, God really wants you to invite him into your life so that you can experience not only his presence, but his help and his wise counsel and uh, Actually, let him carry some of the load for you. Don't You don't have to carry everything all by yourself. And he says, don't be anxious for anything. Don't worry about things. I have said before, worrying will not get you anywhere. In everything, he says, by prayer. Now, prayer is, let's make it simple. It's just having a talk with God. It's just you talking to God and then be quiet and listen and wait for him to answer and talk back to you. Um, one way that I hear the voice of God is when I read the Bible because it contains God's words written down for me so I can read them and be reminded of what he says to you and to me. But the other part of it is when, when I uh, speak to God and ask him for wisdom or for help, you know what? He never withholds wisdom from me. He always gives me wisdom. It's not always in an audible voice that I hear like immediately. Sometimes I'll ask him, what should I do? And I'll wait. And then he'll send somebody else along. he say, you know, I've been thinking about such and such. And uh, uh, I've had this thought. And it just happens to be uh, the wisdom I was looking for and God will send somebody or sometimes three or four people and they'll all tell me what I was looking to hear uh, or wanting to know and that is what would be the wise course for my life. Be careful who you listen to though because there are some people who are always trying to give you advice and they quite frankly don't know what they're talking about. So I try to look for godly people and for people who care more about me than they do about themselves and so they're not just trying to push me around or get me to do their will but to do the right thing so don't worry pray trust God realize he's there and it says and the peace of God which surpasses all comprehension shall guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus I found that to be absolutely true in my life 
If you trust him, you'll find it's true for you. God bless you. Have a great day.